Hi everyone, welcome to Have You Covered in the Kitchen. I'm Danielle. On today's episode of Have You Covered in the Kitchen, I am participating in the Falling in Love with Pescatory Challenge. For those of you who don't know what Pescatory is, Pescatory is a fish market located in Manhattan's Grand Central Station, as well as the World Trade Center Oculus. They have phenomenal fresh fish, seafood, and sushi. Today's recipe was presented by Chef Jill, which I've tweaked to my own, and it is seared sea scallops over sweet potato, red apple, and red onion hash. You will need 20 sea scallops rinsed and patted dry. You'll also need two sweet potatoes. However, today I use one sweet potato and for the other potato, I use purple potatoes as well as sunburst potatoes that you see here. And those are sliced up into one half inch pieces. You will also need two apples. Sweet and crisp apples work best. I use honey crisp apples and I also cut them up into one half inch pieces. You'll need a diced red onion, You'll also need one tablespoon of fresh chopped chives, one tablespoon of fresh chopped ginger, one tablespoon of melted butter, one teaspoon of chili powder, salt and pepper to taste, olive oil, or you can use vegetable oil if you choose, enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And you'll also need one half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So what you'll wanna do is grab a medium to heavy skillet over a medium flame and you'll heat the oil till it's hot but not smoking. And then you'll put the potatoes in as well as the ginger. And saute those until the potatoes are soft, I would say for about 10 minutes. Careful to scrape up any brown bits that may be at the bottom of the pan. So you'll saute until the potatoes are tender and golden brown for about 10 minutes. Once they are tender and golden brown, you'll wanna take your onion, combine it into the mixture, and you'll also want to take your apples and combine them in. And you'll saute all of this along with your half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You'll saute this for about five minutes until the onions are translucent, but still a little bit chewy. So while the hash is still warm, you want to scrape the bottom and get every last bit of potato off it. Then you want to take the pepper, the salt, and the chives and mix it all together. This is pretty much ready to serve. And now we're going to get to the scallops. So for the scallops, what we wanna do is have a plate with some salt, some pepper, and the chili powder. And what we will do is we'll take each individual scallop and we'll just coat them in the mixture setting them to the side. We'll want to drop these scallops in. Wow, oh, I love that sound. About two to three minutes for medium rare. You don't want to overcook these scallops because they can get rubbery. So when the scallops are finished searing, we want to shut the flame off. And on this burner, we have our hash, which is all done, still warm. Just want to ladle it into a plate. And we're going to get the scallops and we're just going to lay them right on top of this hash bed. Wow, they look delicious and they smell phenomenal. I cannot wait to try this. This looks amazing. Delicious. So delicious. The flavors just come together. The apple, the potato. Such a great hearty fall dish. Thank you.